Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Jonathan Mormile. We're standing outside the European version of the HP Pod. What about this is unique for the European market? So for this pod, we've actually developed this with unique uh, requirements for the European market. The European market requires lower density and lower capacity, as well as a simplified approach to power and cooling. And so we also have power and cooling modules that we've also introduced that are optimally matched for this pod. Excellent. Can we uh, walk through it and take a look at what's inside? Absolutely. So we're here at the entrance of the 20C Enterprise pod. We actually entered the pod by entering in the keypad right here, which is a key lock control system. And so come on in. We'll talk a little bit more about it. So first of all, we start with our management and monitoring console. This manages the health, the alerts, and the alarms of the pod. It can be managed locally or remotely uh, via um, a PC. We have our control system here, our electrical control system. And of course, as being an enterprise data center product, we have all the features and requirements that customers are asking for. Fire suppression system, humidification system, and all of the management and monitoring pieces that are needed. Of course, when you're entering it into a data center, the IT area is very important to keep clean. So what we've done is we've added this new access system, which is actually this door lock and airlock system. So when you come into the pod, you have an airlock system that when you close the door, you, you can open these doors, these sliding glass doors, to keep the outside environment away from the IT section. And so if you guys come on in here, we'll talk a little bit about the IT section. So right now we're standing in, inside of the IT section. Here we have eight 46U racks being able to fill with a variety of IT. These are standard 19 inch racks. And if you notice up above here, our cooling system delivers the right amount of cooling precisely to the front of the IT. We do use a containment system, so the front of the racks are contained as well as the rear of the racks. We want to be able to do that so we're not wasting any cooling and again, providing the right amount of cooling capacity. This floor, from an access perspective, because customers will need to access the front and the rear of the racks, this floor can actually move forward and back as customers require. Now traditionally this is done via an electrical means, but for the show we have this being able to push, but as you can see, it's very easy to do that. And so, as I mentioned before, there are eight racks here. This is a 100 kilowatt pod, provides 100 kilowatts worth of capacity, which is about 12 and a half kilowatts per rack, and that's in a redundant format because enterprise customers require full, full uptime and availability inside of the pod. So if you want to come out this way, we'll go ahead and walk through the other end of the door. So we do have two access doors to be able to bring customers in and out of the pod here and of course be ab have access in and out of the pod. So you exit the pod via this door right here. To be able to bring network into the pod, we have our network portals right here to be able to bring in fiber or uh, ethernet directly into the pod from a networking perspective. And these are the power connections of the pod. As I mentioned before, we have matched power and cooling modules. And so this would be the connections from the power module. The power module would include a battery backup system as well as a generator system because you want to keep your data center up and running 24-7. And so now we're going to be get going into the hot aisle right here. So come on, we'll look at that. So you can simply access the back of the racks for maintenance. All of our power distribution is included right here as a system. We have monitored PDUs to be able to be monitored and managed remotely from our, uh, from our management console system. So as I mentioned before, we have power and cooling modules that are optimized to be able to support the pod. The pod is a chilled water system and therefore requires a chiller system. This is our chiller system here. This is a modular system. It operates in three 60 kilowatt cooling modules. It also does have an economizer or a free air cooling system. That means when the temperature is conducive outside, the power efficiency is extremely great because we actually take the outside air to be able to provide the cooling. So that means when the temperature is appropriate outside, you can get PUEs or power usage effectiveness numbers as low as 1.08. Most European countries would see an annual PUE of about 1.1. All right, well, that was a look at the inside of the new pod for the European market. Thanks, Jonathan. Okay, thank you very much.